everybody back with an episode of supernatural last episode i thought we had it all i thought we had the cure for jack and you know uh, archangel grace from gabe through a shaman did not pan out and he's as sick as ever his systems are shutting down dean you know showed him the important things in life being around his family for this last little bit of his life, but uh, we've got to do something. <sighs> Nick is calling on Lucifer. Oh my God, this better be worth it. I swear to God, I <laughs> I am so sick of seeing Mark Pellegrino's face. No more. <laughs> Why are they doing this? Um, Apropos to nothing that happened in that episode, but uh, I feel like I've had a bit of an epiphany about Michael. Um, I was just, you know, lying in bed in deep thought, not smoking anything that would let me get deep in thought. But uh, when they introduced this Michael to this world and he was going around talking to the monsters, I wasn't really into it because it felt so much like what the Leviathan were doing. And it just felt like a retread. But he has now fucked off and set all of these little traps, um, creating super monsters for them to contend with and uh, leave us just to deal. Does that not sound like God to y'all? Does that not sound like Chuck? giving you all these problems and then just hot-tailing it. That's what I wanted out of this, Michael. I wanted a little mini God, um, cause that's that archetype that I've been waiting to explore. We've done so much with the, my, the Lucifer part of it. I wanted to get into the older brother, the uh, parallel to Dean with John and all of that. And I think we are getting that. It's just in a different way than I was expecting. He said he wanted to get it right this time. I feel like he's like, well, let me soup up these monsters and then hightail it out of here, just like dear old dad. I mean, that is Chuck to me. So it's like he's really the Michael that I was waiting for. Uh, so I'm excited now. At first I was like, oh man, he left Dean two episodes in. I was really wanting more out of that and he hasn't been around at all. But now I see the intention of it and I like it. <laughs> I want to get into this. I want to get into um, Michael's plan uh, because to be honest, it seems a lot like chucks and uh i've had a little bit of pushback on like why i don't like chuck particularly um you know when we met him in season 11 i have to say he wasn't as bad as i was expecting but the penultimate episode of season 11 i can't remember the name but when i saw his plan I was like, oh, this is what this all is. The, the witches are the sacrifices. Sam gets the mark. Like everything happens exactly how he wants it to happen. Michael is doing the same thing. I don't know if we'll get to like the Sam and Dean of it all when it comes to Michael's maneuvering. I would like to, but yeah, yeah. Okay, Michael, I see you. And uh, I wonder what other traps he's got in store. Is it gonna be similar to what uh, we've seen from Chuck? Cause uh, this is feeling a little bit like a mini God. So um, I feel like I'm excited for where we're going. 
Um, and I'm not, I'm not so mad at him just not being around because that feels right to me. Uh, I do eventually want to, you know, confront him and kill him. And do we need his grace to save Jack? I don't know. But, uh, Lucifer is still in play now, I guess. So I don't know where the uh, saving of Jack is going to come from, but it just has to happen, guys. I can't even entertain the idea of Jack dying. I just can't. So I won't. Um, <laughs> this next episode is called Byzantium. I don't really know what that means. Um, I mean, it kind of looks like Byzantine, which was like a part of the Roman Empire. But I don't really know any details about that. I really have to brush up on my world history. But I don't even know really what to go on with that. So I don't have any ideas of what this next episode will be. But um, I'm very excited to see what we're getting into. And uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully Jack is hanging in there. So let's see. Here we go. Maybe this is how things are supposed to be. No. Don't give me that meant to be crap. This isn't part of some damn plan. Team. Team. Team pretty well. What happens next? Yeah, what happened? Would you go to the empty or would you go to heaven? Then it's going to be an adventure. Toss. It's not fair. I know that. But he needs you. He's gone. No! What? No, 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 no. Oh my god! What? In the bunker with us, not this. Tell me you didn't make a deal. What the? No. Oh, I didn't even think that. I was trying to build a fire. Don't burn his body. Put it on more. So what do we do? Say goodbye. No. Please. Tomorrow. Not nougat. <laughs> Guys. I can't be here with you. You're already at acceptance. I'm not here. <laughs> no. Is he in the empty? Yeah. <gasps> Take it easy. Don't you cram it all in at once, all right? Let's find our way to die out of city. <gasps> Here, Jack, we'll teach you how to read it now. No, this is too Rule number one. Rule number one. Rule number one. <laughs> Rule number one. Dean? North is usually up. He's... Is he in heaven? He's in heaven! He's in heaven! Ah! You're still... You're still... Oh no, you're in the empty! Well, which is it? Hello, Dean. Dean, you remember Lily Sunder? <gasps> you aged! You got old. My magic draws power from the soul. The human soul. It could save him. You'd give your soul up? Not my soul. His. Pass. It's not his entire soul, obviously. I might be able to pull his soul into his body. It would only be for a few seconds. That's all the time I need. When my life is over, I'm pretty certain I'm going to have him. Uh, Where's that? Well, I get a lot of angels. Don't expect them to welcome me with open arms. Me heaven. I mean, it's worth a shot. Talking about that kid's soul. Death is powerful, but she and her reapers, they don't decide who goes up or who goes down. Do you know who does? Who does? Anubis. So we summon him. You can do that? You can summon a god? Done it before. Okay. I'm your son. <gasps> Kelly! You're in heaven. 
hearing your memories. Yeah. Your best, best memories. No, 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 baby, no, no. Castiel, he was, he was supposed to take care he of you. He drive. Taking risks, making crappy deals, that's what we do. Ugh. Yeah, they usually bite us in the so ass. So true. what do you want to do about it? Leave Jack in the morgue? Burn him? I didn't say that. No. Yes, for me, not doing this, that, that would be like letting him die all over again. I want Jack back too, okay? I do. I, I do. I just too. don't trust Lily. I don't not trust her. 20 on Jack? Not exactly. Angel Radio is playing a distress signal. Awesome. My daughter, my little girl is in heaven and if there's still a piece of my soul now do you understand hello yeah Duma. oh i kind of like you zuma what happened? i'm glad you're still alive it's cold i He's love that here. this was one of his memories hello castia yes there's so few of us left we couldn't even stop it yeah what what you mean by it? The shadow. The shadow. The thing that rules the empty. <gasps> I'm surprised you didn't recognize it. The you. cosmic entity! He is half angel. He's so half human! Give it what it wants. You're no. Joking. Tell me, what choice do we have? No. Castiel. Oh, shit! Castiel, run! Yeah, I know, Reese. Hi. My brother's Winchester. I must say, your files have come across my desk many times. <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, we died. Yeah, a lot. I'm more of a back of house kind of guy. I need to know where I'm going when I die. It's gonna be a close one. It's gonna be a close call. Uh oh. Sorry. Oh, I guess no. it wasn't that close. <laughs> Shit! I can't. She had reason. Well, looks like you're not going anywhere. Let her into heaven. I'm an accountant. God doesn't decide. I don't decide. You do. Each of you. Your individual choices. Oh, bullshit. Oh, Someone's oh, moving that damn me. abacus. Lily, you're still gonna help us, right? We're still gonna we'll still try to get you to heaven. I don't know how. It's, I mean, do you even want to go? It's a mess up there. No one's in charge of hell. Sure. Maybe it's chill now. I don't know. I know him. He's here. stop until it finds you but if you're not here if you're alive mm. then it'll leave heaven try again fuck it's overtaken all of you oh i don't like that effect you can still do the spell that wasn't the deal hey lily this might help you're not dead yet no, let's move the scale the abacus he's our kid I'm sorry. You're not even human anymore. Not really. Hey. Angel, sir. <sighs> Enough. Stop interrupting! Jazz came back. What, Jack? I'm taking him. Fuck. <laughs> We've got Jack. His show. It's ready to go. It's all we're staring at him right now. Well, if you are, then uh, do your thing. Okay? Do your thing. Hurry! Look at him! Take you. Take you. No. Take me in his stead. No! But you're already mine. Hey! Not for years. Eons, maybe. But if you'll agree, I will go now and I will go willingly. No! Deal. We're not making deals! I want you to go back to to your normal life and, and forget about this and forget about me and, and then when you finally give yourself permission to be happy and let the sun shine on your face that's when I'll come I accept uh, Cass why did you do that because <sighs> he's your father because I, <sighs> because I love you Jack I know we all do same and Dean they do. And they are fighting for you at this very minute. Mm -hmm. They don't even know what happened here. They do. What I did, I yes! peace with my choice. I don't want them to worry. 
Oh my god! Was that my soul? Some of it! Good. I feel good. Do you have your powers from the arc from Gabe's Grace? Oh my god! Oh my god! Lily. Lily, it killed her. <gasps> Was that enough to tip the tip the scales, so to speak? Wow. This has been a wild ride. Say hello to your daughter for me. <gasps> oh my god, Anubis! Yay, we love happy ending. Oh, but Kelly. Hello, Castiel. I love you. I think that deserves a reward, don't you? I don't care. Like, for example, the Archangel Michael's location. <gasps> you know where he is. Look what you already pulled that one off. Well, we, uh... I we think Dean wants know to know. Dark Kaya is or the spear. Yeah, but we will. We'll figure it out. Well, now we're, we're all full of optimism. Four. That's right. And then Michael... And that son of a bitch is gonna pay. Let's go. Come on. Now that was a whole lot of episode. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't even process that. I am. That was a lot. <laughs> Holy shit. Starting the episode off. Having Jack die immediately. I was so unprepared for that. And to see them like all being so sad and like being sad together. And I know they were like, you know, drinking and sharing about good times and nougat. And I was just, I could not even, I could not be in that emotional space because everything was happening so fast and I was just refusing to believe. But like Jack did die, it happened. And, you know, this is a big, like, to-do uh, to get him back. And uh, calling on Lily Sunder, I mean, it worked. So, uh, great. But uh, I don't really even know what happened. I'll have to rewatch that bit. Um, we got some of his soul back. Is that right? Enough to power his body. But that's, that's okay. Like, that's. We're all copacetic there. Nothing. There's not going to be any issue there. And whatever doing that magic was kept him from dying. Could we have done that magic before he died and never lost him to begin with? I don't know. But he's back. And oh my God. Kaz. Kaz. So now we just got to watch out for like blobby, blobby shadow, which is around the corner whenever Cass is fucking happy. Great. And of course he didn't tell them. I hope Jack tells. They need to know. Ah! But I'm not surprised he did it. He did it for Jack, but then also, you know, it saved heaven. Heaven was in a bad spot. I mean, I don't know if they're completely okay now either. They weren't flickering anymore, but I don't know if that means that they have enough power. They did lose an angel, I think, that the, that one on the ground. Duma's still alive and Naomi's still alive. So, you know, there, there are some, but I don't know if it fixed the overall problem that we've had with heaven. Or just got the shadow out. I don't know. There's a lot of logistics here that I don't know all. If they all, you know, go together and line up and, you know, bring in fucking Anubis. <laughs> nice callback to, what was that, season five? Maybe six? I can't really remember where we had the, the scales of uh, Osiris, I think. Uh, so that was kind of wild. I don't know if I believe the whole, like, oh, um, God doesn't have a, uh, a hand and like, still, like, a, a good and evil isn't a binary, it's a spectrum. 
<laughs> as most things are. So like, uh, there still has to be a judgment placed and whose judgment? Is it the universe? But that's so vague and unspecific. They really have like turned the empty into like this place worse than hell. But it's only nothingness and awful if you're conscious. If you're asleep like you're supposed to be, it didn't seem bad. But maybe because the shadow is now awake and he wants to, uh, or they want to, uh, you know, make Cass's life miserable and it can be you know the nothingness part of it which sounds terrible but i am upset <laughs> about Cass. um but i again i'm not surprised he did it the stakes were the highest jack is his son jack is everyone's son he's my son i love him and uh i would have done it too so uh it is what it is i guess but I'm not happy. I mean, I'm happy Jack's back for sure. But there, it's like they said in this episode, we make deals, we, you know, we roll the dice, we do all the things and there's always consequences. So um, we have a direct consequence with Cass, but I, I'm, I'm curious about the whole soul of it all. Is there, is it just fine? Everything's just fine now. I, I don't know. Um... You know, I, I think that I like the uh, casting of the, the older Lily Sunder. I think she was quite a bit shorter than Alicia Witt, but uh, kind of had like her attitude and like a, a similar uh, physical look that I liked. She looked familiar to me too. I've seen her before. But anyway, um... I, yeah, I really gotta go rewatch that episode because she showed up and I was like, oh shit, now I gotta remember everything that happened in that episode. And I certainly don't. She, Isham thought it was, a, Isham was telling everyone it was a Nephilim so they would go kill it. But she really just had a kid because he was jealous he wanted to kill it. So she didn't really have experience with the Nephilim, but she did have the experience with the magic and going after angels and blah, 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 and all that. So what a, what a call back to her to bring her back into this. I wish we would have called her in earlier. I feel like maybe we wouldn't have had to go all the, through this rigmarole, but, uh, I just, I'm just kind of emotionally all over the place. I was It had a similar feeling to um, in my time of dying in, you know, uh, John didn't die at the top of the episode, but it was the first episode of the season. So it was just like fucking out of nowhere. And, you know, Jack dying at the top of the episode was just so like a gag. I was, I couldn't even, I couldn't, I couldn't be there. I, I was so not there emotionally, but then like after they were like drinking and everything and like he went to go see Kelly and I was just oh my god there wasn't a lot of space in between him dying and then you know seeing him again in heaven so like the grief was pretty like like a like the window of it was pretty small for me but I, even that little bit of him being dead and you know not seeing him yet like I I was I was where Sam was, you know, he was like chopping down the trees and just like sitting on the ground. And like, ah! I was, I was going through it. Um, but, uh, it was, you know, fixed in this episode, uh, which I'm grateful for. Cause I didn't want to set with that grief at all. <laughs> I'm glad I was in it for a short amount of time, but, uh, to see the boys go through it was tough and they all played that really well like this 
as sad as it is, this is what I wanted. This is what I've been waiting for. Season 14 is delivering on what I wanted out of the middle parts and endings of season 13. I'm so glad we're getting it now where it's just fucking Dean and Sam and Cass and they're just this fucking family, this father unit. It's everything. It's everything. And I'm so happy that we're seeing it. Like it's, it's really lifting season 14 for me. And I talked about earlier in at the top of this that I'm not concerned about the, about the Michael stuff as I was just because I, I I think I have a better idea of what they're doing. Although now, thanks Naomi, she gave us his location. So that's something. Um, so season 14 is kind of given in me everything I wanted. It's kind of serving. And uh, I'm happy. I'm, re I'm really happy. And it feels like the condensed season is to our benefit because uh, we've cut the fat. <laughs> and uh, I don't know. I'm excited. This was a hell of an episode. I'll have to think a little bit about if all the, if everything, if they cross all their T's and dotted all their I's in terms of just like logical sense. But I was in it. I was emotionally in the ringer and uh i'm still kind of spinning about it uh i whoo that was a lot <laughs> that was a lot but it was like uh it felt so much a part of a show that's gone on for this long that the lore is so long like the magic and the Anubis and the Lily Sunder and uh, the souls and Naomi and the, the fucking shadows and heaven. It's like oh, it's so baked into all the years that we put into this show. I, I, I kind of love it. But I am worried. You know, I'll take the happy ending for what it is for this episode. But this is supernatural <laughs> and they do like to pull the rug out from under you anytime you feel happy. Which now, every time Cass is happy, I'm going to be like, look over your shoulder. <laughs> ah! So now what? Is, is, is Jack full powered? Did, did. Gabriel's grace go right through him. Is he now able to use that now that he's fixed? I don't know. I still have a lot of questions. And uh, I'm just so glad we didn't. Oh, my God. I was just imagining them putting Jack's body on the pyre like they did with Cass. And I was like, I can't go through with that again. I was so scared that that's what was going to happen. But they weren't going to let it happen. They had this whole ass plan. I kind of like that they, I mean, I hate it, but I kind of like that they brought back the shadow entity, especially because Cash just kind of got out of that so easily. I mean, he annoyed him or them for a, a really long time. I guess, but uh, we never really saw like that breaking point and like the shadow get like really annoyed and upset and like cast him out. So to see them come back into the picture and then also still have kind of that beef with Cass, Cass doing what Dean was scared that Sam was going to do, which is, you know, a deal. Um, and I can't believe I didn't even think of that. But Dean immediately thought of that because that honestly fits in the whole like Kath or Sam is the new Dean. That's what Dean did when Sam died. So I can understand why he thought that. I'm just surprised I didn't think that. But yeah, I'm surprised he didn't do that. But he was just, you know, 
trying to like move forward, move ahead. Oh my God. Just thinking back on their faces. And he just, oh my God. And like they, Dean and Casper were not even in the room when Jack died. That was heartbreaking and like, ah, oh my God. I can't believe that happened so, so I was, It's like now that it's over and I'm processing, like it's all like hitting me what I went through because it was just happening so fast. I couldn't even like, I couldn't even deal. <sighs> they really just did that to me. It's a fucking show, man. I did have feelings of like the end of season 12 and like all that kind of grief and oh my God, I'm just, oh, <sighs> I gotta shake it off because uh, he's fine now. I think, but Cass is not, I think. I don't know, there was a lot going on here. I noticed at the top of the episode I saw, uh, it was written by Meredith Glenn and I was like, oh, I'm in good hands just because she wrote my favorite episode last season. So I was like, emotionally, she's gonna, she, she's on it, she's got it. She, she knows what she's doing emotionally with the show and yeah. Yeah, yeah, all those were there. All those emotions were right there. Oh, man. That was... I don't even know what to do with all this information they just threw at me. God. I can't believe they killed Jack in front of me like that. It was great to see Kelly. I love her. I just love her. And I... I kind of ship her and Cass, you no know, shots, I do. And uh, it was great to have them hug it out as like parents of Jack and she's so sweet and to get, to let her see her son grown up and to let her know that, I mean, he did die, but like Cass came to get him and like he's still gonna go and have that life and that she gets to know that is great because she was just you know in a memory when she was a kid <sighs> oh heaven i have issue with you but um it was great to see one of the memories that jack was in that was like pre the dodge city road trip ah that was the best of times <laughs> So, of course, that would be one of his favorite memories. Ah! I love that. This was... This was a lot. And probably the best episode so far this season. I'd have to think. I'd have to think about it real hard. But, uh... Man, that was a lot. I'm glad Jack's alive. At the end of the day, that's where we're at. And I am really worried about Cass now. I mean, he said eons. So maybe we won't even, you know, cross that bridge. Um, I'm, I, I'm, I have questions about like the soul magic stuff. I, what did we really even do there? Where's the rest of Jack's soul? Or was it that only a little bit of it came back to him? Or that they only needed a little bit of it for the magic? So he only lost a little bit of it. I can't, I don't really, y'all, this, I, I, <laughs> I wasn't retaining any of that. <laughs> so um, I'll have a better idea next episode. But uh, that was something else. Uh, but yay, Jack. I guess he's back and better than ever. I think he's not sick anymore. So yay. <laughs> I'll take it. So, uh, really, really, really good episode. Uh, I, I need a break. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. I'll be back soon.